Jordan Knudsen. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach, then you can take questions for the student athletes. Coach? Well, we had four one-run games that we played, and uh, played great competition all four games, and uh, beat a very, very good Arkansas team in a great atmosphere for Arkansas, and that's <clears throat> this is a hard place to win, so very, very proud of our guys bouncing back after last night's loss. Questions for the student athletes to the right in front? For both of the guys, how are you guys feeling after winning the regional? Uh, pretty pumped up right now, honestly. Uh, he's already been in Super Regional, but this is my first one, and uh, pretty excited to get down and play, or whoever we're playing, I think TCU. Jordan, how does it feel at the bottom of a dog pile like that? Uh, being on top is probably more fun, but <laughs> but if you're at the bottom, it means you were in the game, so it was a pretty sweet feeling to be at the bottom. And today, it has been a long day, three tens when the game got over and you guys went it late tonight. What, did you guys do anything different throughout the day? I mean, I usually don't wake up at 1 p.m., so that was the <laughs> only difference. Down to the right guys in front. Jeremy, can you describe the home run and what the pitch was and what you were thinking about it? Oh, uh, well, he threw Jake. He started him with a fastball way, then went all off speed to him. So I figured he might pitch me the same way. So I was sitting fastball, middle away, and then off speed. And I got my pitch and didn't miss it. Back in front, Bob. Yeah, Jordan, you had kind of a rough start there with a couple of pitches, but you really settled in and didn't really give him much of anything after that. Kind of what, what, what was the key to that? Because that's, that's a pretty good lineup you shut down. I mean, uh, just kind of settling down. I've been a starter the last two years, so it's kind of a, a new feeling. So I need to learn going into next weekend how to make sure that I'm ready to go for the first pitch. I guess what, what, what was the key to your success tonight, you think? Because you, 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 know, you didn't give up a run. And finding, finding what pitches were working. Uh, the last two days, my curveball was really good. And then today, I didn't have it. So I had to find something else. And my slider was on. So I stuck with that. I stuck with fastballs and sliders. Back out in front. No, we'll go, we'll go to the left. Pass it that way. Hey, Jeremy, you were able to come up with multiple big hits throughout this region. How are you able to keep them? How are you able to stay in the moment? Uh, I really just, these big crowds, uh, trying to calm myself down, stay with myself and my approach, and uh, really not trying to do too much, just look for my pitch and try to barrel it up. And Jordan, you were here in 2015. How sweet is it to do it against Arkansas? Uh, there's nothing else I'd rather rather it happen at. I was in the same seat two years ago after a 3-2 loss to end the season, so being here after a 3-2 win is pretty pretty sweet. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Bob. Hey, Jeremy, I think you've hit five dingers here, including two last year against the Hogs and three in the regionals there. This isn't really known as an easy place to hit a home run. What, 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 what do you think is the key to your success in this, in this ballpark? Oh, I don't know. ball seems to be flying out to right, so that's where I'm hitting it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Second row to the right, guys. Guys, uh, you know, two Super Regionals in three years. Um, you know, what, what are you guys building here? But Jordan, you've been here for both of them, and now Jeremy, you're first. Oh, uh, just a quality, quality team, uh, year in and year out, getting good players coming in and battling through the year and going on to the playoffs. We're not the first guys here to do it, so it's not like we're the, we're the only ones making Missouri State a, a team. We're just carrying on the tradition. Jack down in front to Nate. For both players, just what effect you feel the Steinmetz catch on uh, on Cook's line drive had on the game? Well, that was that was big time. You know that guy's that's that's extra bases there. I don't, I don't know if anyone was on, but that really set the tone and how hard we're going to play today, and really really set the tone there. We're going to go third row to the left, guys. Uh, for both, talk about John Prevatera, what he's done filling in for Meyer, not just getting on base, but what he's done defensively, especially you know double plays and you know big plays he made tonight. He's uh, done he's done everything we could ever ask him to do and more. He's come in and really really stepped up for us. Yeah, he's he's big time. Uh, at the end of the order, he's always in there battling, uh, getting on base any way he can, dropping down bunts, slapping the ball out of the way, just any way he can get on. He's doing it for us. All the way to the back, guys. Can you guys both just describe the range of emotions you felt being a couple outs away from winning this this morning and having to come back and get focused again and, and win it tonight? Uh, you know, it was, it was pretty wild last night in the rain. Uh, it was pretty crazy that we we're a couple outs away. I was really nervous last inning, but we didn't get it done. 
Uh, we knew we had the chance to get it done today, and we came out with tons of energy, and we knew we had it. We didn't have a lot of time to really dwell on it. We just had to uh, refocus and make sure that we were going to take care of it tonight. Back down in front to Bob. We've got time for a couple more for the guys. Jeremy, before before you hit your homer off Alberius, uh, Casey Murphy, Arkansas star, he'd thrown like 75 pitches yesterday, but he seemed to have pretty good stuff today. What what what'd you think of their starter, uh, Murphy? Yeah, he was he was throwing the ball well. Uh, his fastball was really jumping out of his hand. Uh, his curveball was moving quite a bit, and he was really getting ahead. Everyone was really fouling off his fastball. He was he was getting ahead with his fastball. That was the main thing. He had good stuff today. Last one for the student athletes in the back. On top of the emotions of just winning, I mean, how how exciting was it for you guys to be able to celebrate with not only Aaron Meyer but Blake after he went down today? Uh, I mean, it was big to have those guys there with us. You know, um, it's big having them supporting us even though they went down. Meyer's been in every single game. He has our back. You know, he's in the dugout getting us up whenever we get down. Anything. Uh, it's just big time having them supporting us. They've been huge for us for the last four years, so they deserve to be here just as much as anybody else on the team. Okay, thank you guys. Questions for Coach? Go back down in front, lead off with Bob. Yeah, yeah Coach, I guess Arkansas's two through six hitters, the heart of their lineup was 0 for 19. Dave said that was really the, the, the difference in the game. What did you think of the job your guys did shutting down their, their big hitters? Well, I don't think we anticipated Doug still giving us five innings. And uh, I mean, he really, really competed, felt good, and and uh, you know, Brian's kind of taped together and strung together at this point in his career, and I just, all three guys were exceptional for us. Just to the left, Coach. Uh, how difficult was it for the guys? The different set of circumstances with waking up later and after last night seemed fine to me. All on the bus, the same bad music, horrible, loud. Um, they were the same team they've been for 60 games. And how are you personally feeling after winning a regional? Pretty damn good. Back down to Bob. Coach, you, you, you guys beat Arkansas late last year twice when they really finished badly and they bounced back with a big year. What did what, you think of their team this year and the job job Dave did? I thought, honestly, and, and I thought this coming into the regional after playing them, midweek and getting beat at our place. I thought they had a better team this year than they did in 15. I really like their team, their power. Uh, they've got a lot of good arms. They play good defense. I thought they had a really, really good team. I guess what, 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 what do you think about the job they did? They'll kind of rally in the matter, you know, One of the best coaches in the country. All the way back, Coach. I got two questions, if that's all right. Sure. The first one is with Blake. Can you tell us, uh, was it his knee, his ankle? What, it was what? his knee, uh, the same injury that he did previously, but he was walking and not limping after the game. So we'll, uh, when we get back to Springfield, he'll see the doctor and we'll see where we're at. And yesterday, Coach Van Horn gave you and your staff credit for recruiting and, and finding those great players that, that step up kind of off the, off the grid. Hunter Steinmetz comes to mind. I watched him in high school at Parkview. The play he made in center field, it was unbelievable. Was that a, setting the tone for this team tonight? Well, I mean, the nice thing was Hunter lives five minutes from campus, so that wasn't that hard of a sell. But he's been doing that. He's led off and started every game for two years, and he's played like that in center for two years. Any more questions? i got one to the right. Keith, along those recruiting lines, I know Jake didn't have necessarily the, the series he wanted, Berger, but what was that recruitment of him like? And did you have any idea at that point he was going to immediately become what he's well, become? Well, when I saw him as a junior in the summer, I really was impressed with the way he hit and the way he, the way he went about his business. His dad was a college baseball player. His mother was a college athlete. He's, if you get to know him, he's just very, very personable. Uh, he'll be a leader in any locker room, college or professional. And, you know, he, he was recruited, but he wasn't nationally recruited. He was on a team out of St. Louis that had seven to eight good Division One players on it. So we're fortunate to get him, and he's been an All-American for three years in a row. Any more questions? Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Coach.